Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another Onigiri Guide video. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about Oni Dungeons. More specifically, I want to answer three questions. What are they? Are they important? And where the heck are they in-game? So let's start by answering the question, what are they? In a nutshell, Oni Dungeons are challenge dungeons that are timed. There are 13 of them in total, 6 which requires energies to run, and 7 that do not. And also, of the 13 dungeons, 9 of them are straight boss fights where you go into the dungeon and you just fight the boss, while 4 of them require you to clear rooms of enemies before getting to the boss fight. By clearing the dungeons, you are rewarded with 3 types of medals, 1st class, 2nd class, and 3rd class. The quantity of these medals given to you at the end are pretty much based on the difficulty of the dungeon and somewhat of RNG. You can clear these dungeons three times or tries per day, and the number of tries are reset at 12 a.m. Pacific Standard Time every day. You can run these dungeons either solo or in a party, and the difficulty and enemy count do not scale with party size, meaning they are fixed whether you're soloing it or running it as a party. Another thing is that you can exit or leave the dungeon at any time during the run without losing a retry, unless you have already defeated the boss at which point a retry will be used up. And finally, the thing that makes these dungeons challenging is the fact that each one of them has a specific set of rules and limitations that severely limit your stats. For example, reduce attack, HP, and greatly reduce SP. It also makes it so that you can't use sake during the run, you can't also use vanguards or partners or mounts, and you also have an added 100% durability loss during the entire run. We'll go into more of the rules and limitations of each of these dungeons in the later part of the video when I show you where these dungeons are. But for now, we covered all the things that we need to know about what Oni dungeons are. So now, let's move on to the next part of the video and answer the question, are they important? The short answer is yes, obviously, duh, otherwise I wouldn't be making this video. But seriously. Yes, Oni Dungeons are important because they do provide players with the challenge that they can complete. And after they complete the dungeons, they are rewarded with medals that they can use to then craft Megatamas and weapons that I'm going to show you in a little bit. The first example is this Artisan Sword that you can craft from Yoshi. And the second example is this Bow of Love that you can also craft using medals. On the Megatama side, you can use the medals to have Kaguya craft you 105 mags, such as the Attack Star, and even the Fuse Megatama as shown here. And finally, one of the most important things that you can buy using the medal can be found in Onigashima from the Oni Exchange NPC that can be found here. Now this NPC will sell you a lot of items that you can exchange using all medals, and one of the most important things that he will sell to you are these Tempest recipe for your Tempest Megatama. Pretty much the end game Megatama for your class. And these recipes cost a ton of medals as you can see. So better start saving up. Oh and sometimes you can get these medals from events via the exchange shop so keep an eye out for those as well. So now that we know what Oni Dungeons are and why they're important, let's take a look at the last question of where they are in game and how to access them. Let's break it down like this. There are six dungeons that you can access via the red crystals in Onigashima, or you can access them at their actual dungeon entrances in game. And then there are six dungeons that you can access from Chifiri also in Onigashima via the energy dungeons. And lastly, the last one can be accessed on the moon. Okay, so first let's take a look at where the six red crystal dungeons are in Onigashima, which are on top of the hill area where we first started the game. So 
Starting from the left, we have Yomotsu Dungeon, or as I would like to call it, the Fly Dungeon. And then we have the rules and limitations for this dungeon. Notice that your attack, defense, HP, and SP values are all fixed, as well as your movement speed, so skills like Rapid Storm wouldn't be really helpful in there. Also, you don't have natural HP and SP regen as well. Next up, we have Sado or Sado Mines. And again, these are the rules and limitations for the dungeon. A quick note here is that both Yomitsu and Sado Mine Dungeon require you to clear rooms of enemies before reaching the final boss. And then next up, we have Mount Kuruma, which is where Odin is. And again, these are the rules and limitations that apply to the dungeon. Mount Kuruma is also a dungeon where you need to clear rooms of enemies before you can reach the final boss. After Mount Kuruma, we have the Lamenting River, which is where Satan is. And again, we have the rules and limitations that apply to this dungeon. This dungeon is a straight up boss fight, so there are no enemies to kill along the way. Once you enter the dungeon, you immediately start fighting with Satan. And the fight is actually quite challenging, but very, very fun. I'll actually put a clip of me fighting Satan at the end of this video. Next up, we have the Netherworld space, where we will face off with Hades. The Zone Dungeon is also a straight up boss fight, so immediately once you go in, you start the fight with Hades right away. And finally, the last of the Red Crystal Dungeon is Central Koshi, where we fight the plant boss. This dungeon has rooms of enemies that you have to clear before reaching the final boss. One final note is that when using the red crystals, you will be teleported to the actual dungeon location, and when exiting, you will no longer be in Onigashima. Before moving on, I'm going to show you guys how to get to the six dungeons that we just covered in-game without using the red crystals. The video is going to be sped up, of course. But of course, if you already know the location of the dungeons or are not interested in seeing where the locations are, feel free to skip ahead to about 12 minutes and 55 seconds for the next part of the video. Otherwise, enjoy the sped up in-game music and chipmunk sound effects. I know I do.
Okay, so now let's talk about the six Oni dungeons that require energies to run, which can be found via Chiferi in Onigashima. Three of the six Oni dungeons can be found on the Assault on Gargoyle dungeons, which specifically are the Inferno, Levenlands, and Sleepward. Now, I'm showing you the Oni dungeon rules for Inferno, but they apply to all three of the gargoyles and are essentially the same. And then the other three Oni dungeons can be found in the Assault Dragon Arc dungeons, which are specifically Asome, Gakuho, and Tenshio. The rules and limitations for the Dragon Arc are the same as the Gargoyles. And also, all six of these dungeons are straight up boss fights, meaning once you go in, you just have to deal with the boss. And then finally, the very last Oni dungeon can be found on the moon in the Palace of Rain. In this dungeon, you face off with the spirit form of Kagua, and is by far the hardest and most challenging Oni dungeon to run. It is also a straight up boss fight, however during the fight several Benkis will also appear which you have to deal with as well. And that about covers everything on Oni Dungeons. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. And so in summary, we took a look at what Oni Dungeons are, why they're important, and also looked at all the locations of all 13 of the Oni Dungeons in great detail. I want to thank you guys for watching this video and hope that you found it helpful. And if you do, and or just want to support this channel, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button because it really helps me out a lot. It lets me know what kind of content you guys are interested in seeing and so that I can make more videos like this. Thanks again and have a good one. This is Evil, signing out. Peace.